Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Master of Orion, our Let's Play as... Who are these guys? The Darlock Cabal, that's right. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Um, I actually already tried to record this once, and I ran into some kind of weird, I guess, bug? I mean, remember, this is still early access, where the Silicoid's turn, or excuse me, the Silicoid's turn would not complete. It was just like, you know, it would show that it was pending and it would, it basically got stuck. And I was about mm, six or seven turns in. So I'm going to go ahead and replay to that point, but this may end up being the final episode uh, for a couple reasons. Even if it doesn't lock up, which it may, but even if it doesn't, the chances of winning are, are, are relatively slim. Now I'm perfectly fine with playing this out to its logical conclusion. Um, but as you can see here, <laughs> our buddies, the, the clack on hive have kind of got an edge on us, but that's okay. I've actually been thinking about, I've actually been thinking about the Darlock more and something I'll probably try, um, off camera just to see. But now that espionage is kind of fixed, you know, you can actually steal techs other than class one shields and stuff like that. Um, I, I. Though I still don't think they're as strong as some of the other races, they're they're viable. And my thought process is this: if if you get the right set of circumstances, I think they can be pretty good. If you make contact too soon, it can be problematic. Uh, you know, with other empires or what have you. Um, and not invest. Now, this is the part where I think is important. Which is here. Let's go to here. We'll go to the next turn, but I want to bring up the tech. Tech tree. The examiner. So early on, the I think the thought process is that most people would just immediately go after Xeno Relations to get the spy center. And while I think that may be valid in terms of you know getting the spy center, getting it built, and then training spies as quickly as possible, right? Since essentially, you know, the sooner you can do it, the better, because it's gonna train automatically and you don't have any any cost associated with that other than building the structure and doing the research. Having said that, where are you going to build that spy center right out of the gate? Probably on your home world, which quite frankly should be building another colony ship and some extra scouts. So if you establish, say, your first two or three colonies, build up a little bit of infrastructure by getting other research uh, technologies, getting other technologies unlocked, particularly something like, oh, Really, any of these entry level ones can be of more benefit than Xeno Relations. Because if you notice, the AI doesn't go for this tech. Like, if you rush this tech, and then that's supposed to unlock diplomacy, right? And you go to do diplomacy with any of the empires you've had contact with, they're not going to be able to do anything. Not trade treaties, nothing. Because they don't have the tech. That's got to tell you something. It's just not worth getting that early. So I've been thinking about, well, okay, don't get it. Sort of fight the instinct to do that and sort of play these guys like a regular quote unquote regular race where you would be trying to expand and explore during that time frame. And then eventually, you know, maybe around turn 30 or 40, somewhere in there, I need to map it out, but somewhere around there, then invest in a spy center and then start building out your, your network and what have you and trying to um, do nasty things to your opponents with uh, spying. And I think the most useful one is actually... Oh, what's it called? Let's take a look here, quick. What is that mission called? I want to see. Um, infiltrate diplomacy and then do destabilize offensive missions. Yes, yes, I know they're for opponents only, but this is the one where if it's successful, then it makes that pers that empire's relationships. Um, it damages them. It makes them look uh, kind of like uh, I guess galactic jerks or whatever. It lowers their reputation with other empires. That's quite useful. I have found. Problem is, I didn't know exactly how to do that in this Let's Play um, because I was new to the Darlock. And then the other, the other issue, quite frankly, was that, well, I uh, it wasn't working. Espionage was really wasn't working. Sorry, I had a brain hiccup there for a second. So let's see. Here is our standing fleet, such as it is. Got a couple of cruisers there and a bunch of troop transports. And the plan is to go kind of this back way around and see if we can take out some of the silicoid systems. And if we can, plus I've expanded a tremendous amount, we might 
be able to sort of turn the corner. There's a couple of people that were kind of making fun of me for getting more colonies and things like that instead of building military ships. What would have been the point? You know, you can't... It, there's, I'm not in a position to be able to take on... Let me show you that. I'm not in any position to be able to take on the Clackon militarily right now. Case in point. Right? Absolutely no chance. But if I build up infrastructure and they leave me alone long enough, Secrets that's a different story. We'll go with fast missile ranks. Update our plans. Done. Okay, upgrade you guys. Production. That's right, I do have the battleship now as well. That blueprint. Spaceport. Marine barracks. Yep, let's build that. That's really more for morale than anything. I mean, it's nice to be able to build troop transports, but I have quite a few of them. Am I building an interplanetary here? I am. Okay, good. Good, good. Fleet needs orders. Okay, you head over here, please. I guess we'll grab, actually grab that troop transport, and then you can grab spaceport, I guess? Sure. You guys really aren't in a position to uh, export anything to it yet. Probably should have held off on that. Now I'm paying maintenance on it for no reason. I might maybe jump the gun there a little bit. Three turns, man. They made terraforming a lot more expensive, that's for sure. Which I guess is good. It was it was pretty uh, inexpensive before. Alright, let's go ahead and build a space elevator first. Come on, which fleet needs orders? You do. Okay. Head up here. Got our jump gate network set up, which is nice, so we can move around quickly now. Got that going for us. Oh, trade treaty has finished. Go talk to our pals. Why do you call on the hive? Uh, because I need you to not you. slaughter me terribly and give me a trade agreement. We are rejoiced. Oh, I am rejoiced as well. Because <laughs> that would have been the end of it. Let's see, what else? Uh, burr, burr, burr. That, grab fungal farms. It's actually, you know, I'm not all that bright, so it's hard for me sometimes to be playing, um two series of this when they're so different, right? The Derelict and the Silicoids, which I'm playing both right now. Like on planets, I'm like, like I look, I look at this planet and I'm like, what are you doing on food? Get over here. And it's like, oh wait, yeah, right. You're supposed to have food. <laughs> it, it helps with the not starving thing. Uh, okay, let's see. Biospheres, some more research. Hello Simulator. Yep, that looks good. Oh, and here we go. This is what was happening. It was just sticking on the silicoid. Crag a turn. Oh, man. And I've tried everything, folks. I've replayed, as you can see, I've replayed through this. This is what I was telling you about at the beginning of the Let's Play, or of this episode, excuse me. 
Um, I've reloaded. I've gone back just a couple turns and tried to get past this, and it's just hung. I don't. I don't know what it is. So I'll report this bug, obviously. Um, but I think that's it for this LP, which is a little disappointing because I wanted to sort of lose and see that. I, that sounds bad. I didn't want to lose, but it was sort of inevitable that I was going to. Um, which is a good thing, actually, because I really haven't lost playing um, this version of Master of Orion, so it was good that I could. Um, I think it makes it more interesting, at least for me. You don't want to... Someone had mentioned, yeah, it's interesting because you you're not ruffle stomping all the AIs in this one. No, I'm most certainly not. So can I bring up anything? No, it's completely locked up. I think I can go to the main menu. Yeah, that's about it. Well, folks, a little bit unfortunate that we couldn't finish it, but um, I, I wanted to try. Uh, thus, the reason why I recorded this. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed the series as a whole. We'll just go ahead and chalk this one up to, hey, it's early access. Um, but I did indeed lose this one. I think it's pretty clear that I would have. But I hope that you enjoyed it regardless. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.